take a look at the other two problems. Remember, we're still testing for symmetry. If we test with respect to the x-axis, that means we want to change all of the y's. So we're going to go over here and we're going to change all of the y's. f of x becomes negative y. The x's don't change at all. Remember when we're testing for x, the x's don't change, it's the y's that change. We multiply through by the negative. to get y by itself. They are not the same function. So for the test with respect to the x-axis, this is a no. Now we're going to do the test with respect to the y-axis. So for the y-axis, we change all the x's. So we're going to change the x's. So we have negative x cubed minus 5 times negative x. The negative x cubed, when I cube a negative, it's still a negative. But these two negatives here make this a positive 5x. It's still not the same as what we started with. So it's not symmetric with respect to the y. Now we're going to test the origin. So we're going to change the y's. We are going to change the x's. My handwriting is so horrible with this tablet. But. Okay, now this negative x cubed is still a negative x cubed. This becomes a positive. But when we multiply everything through by our negative y, so that we can change our signs, we get y equals x cubed minus 5x. Now if we go back and we compare that to what we had in the beginning, it's the exact same function we started with. We were testing the origin, so we get a yes over here with the origin. Yes, it is symmetric about the origin. And anything that's symmetric about the origin we call an odd function. So this one happens to be an odd function. Now we're going to look at the very last problem, this one here. I used my mouse to draw that, so that looks very attractive circle. Anyway, if we test for the symmetry along the x-axis, you should be pretty good at this. Remember that testing for symmetry along the x-axis means to change all the y's. I'm going to come over here so I'll have more room, but we're working on the search problem. If I change the y's, And I multiply through by my negative. You can see I do not have the same function I started with. So the test for the x is no. If I test over here for the y, y, remember, means to change the x's. So if I change the x's, you know, don't forget to use your parentheses. Sometimes that makes a big difference in what you're doing. If I change the x's, this one is still a positive. But it is still not what we started with because of this sign. So they're different. So it's a no for the symmetry for the y. Okay, now let's check the origin. If we check the origin, we're going to change the y's. And we're going to change the x's. So we've got two x to change here. Then we do our algebra. Check all those signs. Here this one becomes a positive because you're squaring a negative. This one is a negative. When we multiply through using our algebra, we have y equals... This is a negative x squared. It's just a negative in front though because it's being multiplied through the problem. This one becomes a positive x. It is so close to being like that one, yet it's not the same. So it's not symmetric with respect about the origin either. So this is neither an even function nor an odd function. It would count as neither one. So sometimes you'll ask if this function is even, odd, or neither. You'll do your test for symmetry. If it's symmetric about the y, you say that it's an even function. If it's symmetric about the origin, 
you say it's an odd function. If none of the tests work, or if just the x test works, because remember the x test has nothing to do with even or odd, then you would say neither.